Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be number 5 of the ICBA and we are up against Splurge. Now, I've never come up against him before, but uh, I believe he's taking part in the League War. It should be coming pretty darn soon at this point, but uh, we have a really interesting matchup here. Uh, I don't quite know how... It, it was a challenge to team build because his Suicune alone could beat my entire team. So I have to manage that Suicune, which doesn't come at all. He does have the Bulu Halucha, does bring the Rotom Frost, uh, as well as the Chandelure, the Celesteela, and the Megalodias. That is a very interesting team. I really, I, honestly, I fear the Palisand quite a bit. I feared Sneasel, Venomoth, Suicune, all, none of which he brought. That is bananas to me. I thought, if anything, Chandelure could stay home, um, but I guess he realistically needed it for my Infernape. My Infernape uh, has been doing decently well for me in this over this season, but... Um, it just didn't feel like a great matchup. Alright, regardless. Regardless. Uh, he has no ground type, so both of my Volt Switchers are free. Although, I believe my... My... My Thunderous does have U-Turn. So, what do I do here? What do I do here? I guess I should lead off... I guess I should lead off with regular Rotom? No, Rotom... Mm. Huh, maybe I just lead off with... Maybe I just lead off with Mamoswine? Yeah, I think Mamoswine's gonna be... Kind of the most... Kind of the most expendable Mon here, I think. Everything else super needs to be here for the matchup. And I did forget to take a screenshot of the bottom screen, but um, I will do that in a second. I think everything else really needs to be here for some matchup or another. Um, obviously, I need to deal with the Chandelure, uh, and Mamoshan would be great for that, but I don't think it's the most necessary thing in the world. Um, it gets beat by the Halucho, doesn't have a, the best time against Bulu, or Celesteela, or a, a few things. Does lead off with the Rotom Frost. Now, this thing can't Volt Switch, and I basically resist Blizzard with, with Thick Fat. Uh, but before I forget, I'm just going to check out the bottom screen. Um, it honestly makes me want to try to set up a sub here. His best switch in would pro I don't know what his best switch in would be. Maybe he clicks Toxic. I think, he, honestly, his best play might just be the Toxic here. I don't know if he expected any any uh, lead in particular. I don't know if he expected any lead in particular. But I think sub would almost always be my best play. I don't think this thing's going to be too, too offensive. This thing could be choice for all I know. Um... I think I do want to click sub. And I guess we'll just see what this thing does. I'd be very curious to see what this thing does. But I honestly think that the that his best he would either hard switch or toxic, but he does hard switch. Does let me get a very free sub here. Goes into the cell stila, and this will at least give me a bunch of information about the cell stila. This will at least give me a bunch of information about the cell stila. Because I am max attack adamant with Icicle Plate, so even um, Ice Icicle Crash should be a 2 hit KO, theoretically. It should be right around that. Um, assuming this thing's max HP, it's not like super defensive. Uh, if this thing's super offensive, then I actually 1v1 this thing. But if this thing could be super max defense, hmm. That might just be max defense, maybe. Oh, and we do get the flinch. Okay, that is pretty unfortunate, in all honesty. That actually might just be max defense. I'm not too, too sure. Regardless, I think I just Icicle Crash again. Um, The Chandelure could be Infiltrator, but at that point, I don't think I care too, too much. I guess we just uh, Icicle Crash again and see whatever we can do here. Um, yeah, that looks like a 3 KO through Leftovers. Let's go for the Heavy Slam. So, does risk a lot of damage onto something. If he... He could just stay in and risk... Uh, me taking this thing out. This thing could protect, which would be super unfortunate. A protect would be pretty unfortunate right now. But I'm just going to click Icicle Crash. And we're just going to see what type of damage we can do in this situation. This looks like super on the cusp. It might be a roll. I'm going to have to... Um, I, I would be very curious to check rolls after the match, but we do KO this thing. 
we do 1v1 the Celesteela with our Mammoth Swine. That is super dope. That is super, super dope. And Celesteela is a huge, huge impediment to my overall team. Uh, this should be Halucha. Okay. Okay. I would be curious as to whether or not this thing tries to set up a... <sighs> See, here's the thing, right? I, th I feel like this thing... He has to Swords Dance right now. Let me see. Halucha. Yeah, any attack this thing would go for obviously just KOs me, but I don't think I, I'm in a position to let this thing set up a sub. Ice Shard would actually prevent a sub. In almost all cases. Well, assuming that this thing isn't like max HP. Um... I think I think Rotom can be a reliable switch in no matter what I think. Unless he has some crazy tech for regular Rotom. We are a max defense regular Rotom. Yeah, I think I'm going to play this a little bit safer. And just go into my dedicated switch in. If he sets up a sub, I think I can take any hit and just uh, Thunderbolt this thing back. I think I'll be okay on... Goes for a U-turn. That is very interesting. So he's going to see that I am pretty much max defense. That is very interesting. U-turn Halucha. Is very interesting. Because if I had clicked Ice Shard... Uh, Icicle Crash? Well, if I had clicked Icicle Crash, he could have gone into... Well, no, I could have clicked Ice Shard. And Ice Shard would have done a whole lot of damage here. So actually, let me see. U-turn. I assume this thing's just like max attack, probably adamant, but uh, it should be good to verify, I guess. It could be good to verify here. But yeah, if I had clicked Ice Shard, then man, that would have put him in a pretty bad spot, I think, for the later game in particular. I guess we'll see. Goes into the Chandelure, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. Because... Uh, brings me down to 132. Brings me down to 132, so that's 156. That's 24 points of damage off of the U-turn. That's banded. That's banded damage. He cannot hit 24 points of damage without being banded on a U-turn. That's wild. Okay. Okay. Well, I am going to... Yeah, my dedicated switch into this is my Umbreon. Because I don't think this thing can hurt my Umbreon in any super significant way. Unless he has, again, the wild text for Umbreon. And that'll bring me down to 141. 141. That is an even 60 points. That's an even 60 points. Uh, with Flamethrower. That's a super high roll with Timid. But this thing, if this thing is Modest... Modest never hits it, so it has to be Timid. It, or it could be like charcoal or something. I don't know. But uh, timid should be timid should be one of the higher rolls. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking at something else. Modest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be on on the low end for modest scarf or a uh, higher end for timid's bet or for just timid. I feel like Modest Scarf is more likely. I feel like Modest Scarf is reasonably likely. Regardless, I think my play is to always click Baton Pass. He doesn't have a switch into Toxic, though. He does not have any switches into Toxic. But yeah, I feel like there's no reason not to just click Baton Pass here. I could wish. You could go into Halucha, which would be unfortunate. 
I'm gonna click baton pass here. Does withdraw. And yeah, it does go into the hot luche. So yeah, this this is looking to be his only real answer to my Umbreon, I think. Um the Bulu could be banded and Bulu could do massive, massive damage to Umbreon, but I don't think he's gonna have any true, true answers to Umbreon. And I can go into Rotom here. And I can click Volt Switch because I don't think he'll have any true, true answers to this thing. And this thing will get it back out to full-ish. Um, but I think I'm free to click Volt Switch here, right? I'm going to just click Volt Switch here. And I think almost anything that comes in, I can go into... I can go into Tapu Lele here. But man, getting the information on Band on... On this thing early it's probably gonna be pretty important for the overall like outlook of this match uh, I don't know so this thing has u-turn probably has dual stab and I don't think he has any like super great text that can pro oh has that poison jab almost definitely has that poison jab does so just straight up withdraw does just straight up withdraw. So he, is he fearing that I'm scarfed or something? Um, but I do get to Volt Switch out. And does that tell me? I, th I feel like that tells that should tell me that this thing is like super defensive. Although I don't know. I didn't invest any offense in, into Rotom, so that's probably not the case. Rotom Frost. Volt Switch to Rotom Frost. Yeah. Oh, that could be a no bulk Rotom Frost. If we give this thing max HP, it has to be no bulk Rotom Frost. Because even max HP, Volt Switch should max out at 13%. And that looks like 15 to me. That looks like 15 to my eyes. Regardless, regardless, we're here. And I think my best play possible is to go into this thing. Although he could, he could have the Hidden Power Fire. You could have the Hidden Power Fire. So do I pull a double right now? As much as I really want to get Stealth Rocks up. This thing is almost definitely like Modest Scarfed, I think. Rotom Frost. A an Offensive Rotom against... Man, with the HP Fire... Honestly, he's probably scarfed with Defog as well. In Power Fire should barely even be a 2 KO in this situation. But what do I really need this Ferrothorn for? It helps a decent amount with things here and there. I think setting up rocks is always going to be the best play. Even if I have to give up half of my HP. Oh, he doesn't have the Hidden Power Fire. That's super interesting. Super interesting. Let's go into this thing. So this thing could absolutely... Uh, this thing, he could just be bringing this thing in for, to him power fire me. This thing could also be bring, coming in just for the defog. Uh, I think I have to stay in and gyro ball just to prevent this thing from setting up calm mines here. Or subbing up and setting up calm mines. Latias. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, even if this thing has no, even if this thing has no speed investment, Gyro Ball should almost should always be a two hit KO. And I cannot let this thing. How much should HP Fire be doing? I don't think. I, I think I take one at least. Hand Power Fire. Oof, that is barely a two hit KO. I have to prevent a sub from coming up. That is absolutely imperative. That is non-negotiable, I think. Um, even if he does take away half my HP. Reflect type. Okay. So, I don't have my Infernape, and he's going to be... Huh. That puts me in a pretty awkward position here. That puts me in a pretty awkward position here.
What can I go into here? I mean, it looks like Mammoth Swan is the only thing that makes sense here to want to go into. But I, I think I have to try to Volt Switch into it because otherwise I really can't let Mammoth Swan take too much damage here. Let's go for the Psychic. So that's going to be some unfortunate damage onto Rotom. But I think I just have to deal with it for now. And I think I just have to attempt to Volt Switch out here. But yeah, Reflect reflect Type onto Ferrothorn is pretty bad. Because there's no way he would have done that if I, ha if I brought my Inferno to this matchup. He is only doing it. Drops a Draco and I avoid it. Okay. Alright. I mean, all I can say is that I hope that doesn't end up mattering for the rest of the match. I don't know. Regardless, I have to go into... Actually, can I tell anything with how much damage Psychic did? I think I have to check up on how much damage... Psychic did to my Rotom. That was about like 40-ish percent. Um, okay, this thing this thing has to be like max HP. This thing has to pretty much be max HP, I'm pretty sure. It can't be like offensively invested for Psychic to do that little to my Rotom. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So now... My Mammoth Swine. Oh, that also wasn't Stab. Okay, that that checks out. It wasn't Stab anymore. So, Rotom. That's no longer Stab. I'm going to put Grass and Steel. Um. Yeah, okay. So, this thing should be Max Special Tag. That makes a lot more sense to me. But now my Mammoth Swine can come in. And Icicle Crash, Icicle Crash should be a KO here, and I should even take a Dracos. I should take almost anything this thing wants to hit me with. So I'm just going to click Icicle Crash. Let's go for the Psychic. I think no matter what, Ice Shard should pick up most things. Ice Shard should pick up most things here. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I feel pretty bad. All right. Um, I'm gonna check up with him after the match. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see exactly what these calcs were doing, so that after the match, I'll, I'll know that whether or not that truly, truly mattered. But by the looks of all the calcs, um, crash into shard picks it up most of the time. I don't know. I don't know because that did about sixty percent, right? Maybe it's just max HP, max special attack. I don't know, he's typing something into the, uh, into the Discord now. I'm not too, too sure. He's, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, he wouldn't want to go into the Lele. I don't think he wants to go into the fair, into the, um, Definitely not the Halucha, probably not the Rotom Frost, and probably not the Chandelure. Chandelure always has switches into it. I guess we'll just see. I don't know. I don't know, man. That was a super unfortunate Cell Steel of Flinch, but even if, but if that was just it, then that'd mainly be fine. But um, I don't know, man. So again. That crit. I'm gonna go into Ferrothorn here. Because, also, that's almost definitely his only defogger. So, I, I think my my best attempt would be to um, try and set up spikes as well. He, 
he he wrote he's it said in discord that he was typing but then he stopped so i don't know what that's about maybe he was going to request a redo i'm not i don't know regardless i have to get up spikes it does hard withdraw uh he can see i forget what c is it's a chandelure okay 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 but now, he knows that my Umbreon is pretty much the dedicated switch into this. And I'm reasonably certain that this thing is um, Scarf Modest. I'm reasonably certain that this thing is Scarf Modest. Also, my guess, my guess is that, um, I don't know, maybe I can tell something about the Rotom from my, from my Ferrothorn. Rotom Frost. He went for Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Got me from 181 down to 149. That's 32 points of damage. That's max special attack for sure, for sure. So, I think Rotom is honestly Scarfed. It could, it could also be Scarfed Defog, but I'm almost positive that it is Scarfed. So, I think... I think all I can do here is try to go into my Umbreon. He could have Toxic on this thing. He knows uh, that this thing is kind of the dedicated switch, and he could pull a double right now. Um, I am kind of upset that he didn't make my Umbreon's shiny, which I normally would do. I think shiny Umbreon is uh, one of the goats, but he could... Uh, I'm reasonably certain that this thing is locked in a flamethrower. I don't... Uh, does it go for another flamethrower? So he does know that he can wear my that he can wear me down now. But let's see, can I pass this wish off onto something that I care about? I think Mammoth Swine can take this decently well. Oh my god, Mammoth Swine cannot take that flamethrower decently well. I don't have Protect on this set. I think I just go into Lele here. I think I just go into my Lele here. Flamethrower should take me down to half, but then I can... Then I can pretty freely... Click Psychic against his team, right? It doesn't have any Psychic Resist left. And... Yeah, giving up Umbreon is going to be unfortunate, but again, this is the biggest thing that Umbreon was here to, to deal with. And this is the biggest thing that Umbreon was here to deal with. Now, this should do right around 50%. And then I should, yeah, just get that HP right back. And now I can very freely click Psychic. I could also click Sub. Although, that's not the smartest thing in the world. That's not the smartest thing in the world. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to click Psychic. We do outspeed. Um, so it's not Scarfed. I guess I don't know what item this is, like, even a little bit. I thought it would be Scarfed. I'm not Scarfed. No, I'm, I'm, I'm Electric Z. I don't know. I don't know. Did he go for a trick room? Does, does Chandelure get trick? I don't, I don't know. I mean, he couldn't switch moves either way. I don't know. Man, I wish I knew. I truly wish I knew. But the Bulu comes in. Um. I feel like Ferrothorn could always switch into Bulu here. Yeah, that checks out. I think Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is reasonably expendable. I mean, at best, it can try to deal with the ro with the Rotom Frost. But it goes for the Brick Break, so he definitely expected me to, to go into this thing. But um, if, if this is what I give up, then this is what I give up. Uh, I'm getting Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet damage off. And uh, that should be more than in range for a Gyro Ball right now. I should be more than in range for a Gyro Ball right now. 
And uh, both of his remaining mons are off the ground, so spikes would be meaningless. So I've, I've no, I've no alternative but to click Gyro Ball. He does switch out. Uh, nothing left on his team would appreciate a Gyro Ball here. Uh, let's see. Takes. Um, we know this thing is banded, but oof, that is some damage. And so now anything that he tries to hit me with, he's gonna take iron barbs and he's gonna take iron barbs as well as um Rocky Helmet, and I think that should be it for this thing, right? Um I don't even have any like reasonable switches in to make here, right? I mean I could potentially I could potentially still switch into my Rotom, but I Rotom is is a good pocket check to um this thing or the Bulu in the back. So I guess I just click Gyro Ball, man. Oh, Rock Slide. Okay, that checks out. That checks out. I'm trying to not make contact. That's fine. I understand. And I get flinched. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I understand it. I, 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 I can, I can dig it. It's cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully I don't get flinched twenty times. I, I mean, like I get it. Like he's trying to, he's, he's trying to Rock Slide enough to where I get put into range of, of, um, Halucha, not Halucha, of, um, Bulu Brick Break. But, I mean, if the Bulu comes in, then I can, I think I can always bring in Rotom, right? Does take a bunch more damage, and, I mean, I guess I'll pull the trigger on it. My, my Rotom, uh, does have Hidden Power Poison on it. Both of my Electric Types do have Hidden Power Poison on it. Um, it's been something I've been running since, like, UBL Season 2. Ooh, Smart Strike. Is that Smart Strike? Oof. Did he, did he, was he making a read there? I don't know. That's interesting. That's interesting. I'm curious as to what that was about. But the Grassy Terrain does go away. He thought I was going to go into Lele? I don't know. Maybe thought I was... I don't know. Smart Strike only makes sense if I go into Lele there, but... Um, I don't think that was ever going to be my play. I'm just going to click HP Poison. And Rotom is going to come into its debut. Get... Nope. Okay. It's not going to get a KO. Uh, that's awkward. That's pretty awkward. I thought Hidden Power Poison would be able to do something. This thing is probably actually Assault Vested. Now, I'm, I'm, now that I think about it. It's actually probably Assault Vested. So, I probably have to Volt Switch, honestly, into Thunderous to try to Hidden Power Poison with that. Although, I could just let this thing go down. It doesn't particularly matter. I hope I get the KO. I hope I get the KO. We do get the KO, okay. So Rotom is still going to get the KO. Regular ass Rotom. I believe it was my final round pick. Uh, and it will snag a KO. Uh, and I think that leaves the Rotom Frost, which again, I'm still reasonably sure is Scarfed, but um, I think, um, I think I can just go into Lele and uh, have Lele get the final KO here. We are going to see how much damage this does because I'm super curious about uh, what this what this Rotom is kind of built to do. Goes for the Blizzard, lands a Blizzard, which I'm glad about in all honesty. Does right around half. So if this thing is in fact uh, scarfed, then that would be unfortunate. If this thing is, in fact, Scarf, then that would be unfortunate. But, you know what? What can I do other than go for Psychic? He's probably Scarfed. He could land this or not. He does land it. There, Down goes my Lele. So, we do miss out on a couple of 6 0s during the season. But, uh, I think that's fine. I think that's totally fine. Um, What is my best play here? What is my best play here? 
I just, I just want to be sure that, that Thunderous can pick this up. Thunderbolt is a roll. Oh no, he has to me because of Scarf anyway. So I have to go into Ferrothorn. Yeah, Ferrothorn is the only Mon that can still take this thing on. And obviously I could get frozen. Obviously anything can happen. Actually, he's in a decent position to, to beat me with Rotom. In all honesty, if, if I do get frozen and he's able to take out my Ferrothorn, um, he's in a decent position. Okay, we do avoid. So, Gyro Ball, I believe, should pick up this KO. And uh, that's going to be the match. We do miss out on uh, a couple 6 0s, but uh, we did get two 5 0s, and uh, unfortunately, we did have to take that loss in between there. But that is going to be week, week 5. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have the uh, UBL and the PGBL coming up really, really soon, as well as an upcoming League War, um, which I would think should be announced by the time this comes out. But uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, out.